Hey guys, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper. I'm here to talk to you today about the family radio service. This is an unlicensed radio service that is open to everybody. Um, I'm going to read you some information from the uh, FCC website, and then I'll give you some personal recommendations. Take it or leave it. Okay, as you know, I am a ham radio operator, and I have been since 2009. K0MRD is my call sign. I'm affectionately known in YouTube land as Comrade, so please feel free to call me that. I have no problem with it. Okay, on to the Family Radio Service. The Family Radio Service is a private two-way short-distance voice and data communication service for facilitating family and group activities most common use for FRS channels is short distance two-way voice communication using small handheld devices that are similar to walkie-talkies. The service is licensed by rule which means that there is no individual license needed to utilize this, this service. Okay. There are 22 channels on FRS, uh, some of which are used with GMRS, which is a licensed um, radio service. So if you're thinking about GMRS, get your license. It's 30 bucks, $35 for 10 years. Um, again, FRS, there is no license necessary. And from channels 1 to 7, uh, the max output is 2 watts. From 15 to 22, it's 2 watts. However, from 8 to 14, it is half a watt. Okay, that's all the power you can use because those channels are shared with GMRS as stated before. You can operate an FRS transmitter at any place where the FCC regulates radio communications, certain, sub certain subject to certain limitations. An FRS transmitter may not be modified and must be certified by the FCC. None of the FRS channels are assigned for the exclusive use of any user. You must cooperate in the selection and use of channels in order to make the most effective use of them and reduce the possibility of interference. The usual range for an FRS device on channels 8 to 14 is less than one half mile. Longer range communications can be achieved on channels 1 through 7 and 5 through 22 depending on the conditions, atmospheric, terrestrial, you know, if you're in a city. You know, you're going to have less range because there's more things to block the signal. Okay. You may not interconnect an FRS transmitter and radios with the telephone system because it just won't work. Okay. So, what does that mean for somebody who's wanting to get into communications? One moment and I'll show you. This is a typical FRS radio. It's very simple. There are no interesting buttons or things you need to press except power, channel up, channel down. Your push to talk is right here. Volume controls are right here. Uh, I got this little rad tell. I got a pair of them actually. Uh, because my wife doesn't want to get her ham radio license, which is her choice. And um, she wanted to be able to talk to me when she's out hiking and I'm at, you know, the base working on my, working on radio. These little FRS radios really work, you know, two miles in the woods. So, I mean, it does work. They're very simple. I mean, children use these, but they're not toys. Uh, they're about $20 for a pair, 
on Amazon and I can put a link in the description down below um, <clears throat> as well as information from the uh, FCC website I can put that up in case you are interested um, the radios are great for small groups if you have a um, mutual assistance group or a mag or if you have a neighborhood watch in your area which is pretty cool if you ask me um, or if you just want to keep you know in contact with your family if you're on an outing or something so I mean they're really good little radios and like I said they're about twenty dollars on Amazon for a pair so to get four for forty yeah, whatever it's not that big a deal and it won't break the bank um, as stated they are good for about two miles on on the channels other than the GMRS channels which it shares uh, those being I believe it was 8 through 15 no, one second let me go back and look yeah 8 through 14 sorry not 15 8 through 14 FRS shares uh, frequencies with GMRS <clears throat> which I can do a video on if you're interested you know I have no problem doing that uh, I guess that's about all for today uh, I hope this kinda piqued your interest a little if you don't want to get your ham radio license or you're not sure about it just yet uh, FRS is a good way to go there are other unlicensed radio services, some, one of which you probably been, you were probably familiar with, and that's Citizens Band, CB. There was a huge craze in the uh, 70s and 80s, and I'm thinking of Convoy myself. Great movie. Or oh, Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah, they all use CBs. Um, and then there is the multi-use radio service, which I will go over in a future video. <clears throat> uh, MERS is one of the lesser known non-licensed radio services and it's pretty interesting uh, again I'll cover that in another video down the line so I'm guessing that's about all I've got for today so ladies gentlemen boys and girls this is K0MRD your radio prepper I'm out